Hello from the other side of the comfort zone. This is Julie. And Chris. And today we are diving into Hanoi's street food scene. That's right. We've got five month watering delights lined up just for you. And make sure you stay until the end because we just found out a bonus little dish that is going to keep you amazed. And um, by the way, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It won't cost you a thing. It won't spam you. But if you like our content, it will help us very much. So for breakfast, we decided to have a traditional Vietnamese breakfast, which is ban phuong. This is homemade rice noodle rolls filled with pork meat and topped with crispy shallots. Let's check it out. It's only $1. It's a little bit squishy, as you can see. Uh, we have some fried onion on the top. Let's taste it. Okay, got one. Let's see. Mmm. Okay, it's uh, a little bit squishy in my mouth, but it has a lot of flavor. I can feel the meat. It has meat inside means the meat full of flavor I like it apparently this is supposed to be a very nutritious breakfast okay this is it I like the taste of the crispy shallots because it's very soft. It's like a soup without a soup. I don't know, like noodle soup. It's so interesting. I like it. We're gonna try is the bull hock, which is snails and noodles. We're gonna try it here. Let's go. So we had a little hiccup with our gear during our Bunal adventure and unfortunately all our impressions got cut up in a time warp. But anyway, I still wanted to share our thoughts on this unique dish. For me, the flavor of the soup was on point, but those big snails, well, a bit too slimy for my taste buds. And call me crazy, but there was a faint fishy note there. As for Chris, he wasn't vibing with the cartilage taste in those big snails. Not, not his thing. But he found solace in the small ones. Those were more on the eatable side for him. Right, so this is an amazing dish called Chan Son Son. And it basically translates into two main ingredients. It translates into ribs, rice, porridge. So basically, you cook the ribs for an hour and then you put the rice on top of it and you leave it to cook until it transforms into porridge. Then you debone the ribs and you get this. So it's like porridge, rice porridge with pieces of meat, little dumplings and pork floss. I have to try this. This is unexpectedly good. And this is one of the best places in the old quarter where you can have this. Okay, so let's see. Doesn't look so tasty, Julie. Are you sure? It's really yum. Um, okay, you have let's, to try let's see. It. Let's see. Wow. See, I told you. I was not expecting this. You're gonna want another one. This is mine. Which one of these foods you would try? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to stay until the end for an unexpected food bonus. So now we're gonna eat the bun cha. It's a famous dish 
from Vietnam. It's made out of pork grills. And it also has meatballs all together in a broth with noodles. So let's try this. Yes. As you can see inside, this is the grilled. Oh, oh no, no, no. This is the meatball. So here we have the meatball and the grilled meat is this one. Thin, thin slices. It's inside the broth that also has um, uh, vegetables. Okay, and these are the noodles. We have here some garlic, some spice. So how do you eat this, Jimmy? So you have to basically take from the noodles and soak them, in, put them inside. Then okay. They, they are not too sticky anymore. Oh. Yes. Oh. And you can nice. put some greens. So we take some greens. I'm gonna take a bite out of this one. Savory and also sweet at the same time. Let's taste the noodles. Mm. This is so good. So this is a famous dish in um, northern Vietnam, and it became really, really famous after Obama was seen eating one of these. So I really think it's gonna be amazing. Oh my god. It's incredible. I love it because it's not so sweet. But it's such a good mix of flavors, like it's fresh. And the, the taste of grilled meat is just so good. This is the best so far. Right. <laughs> Now we have the famous banh mi. What is that? A sandwich. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really, really crunchy, I hope. And the main ingredient is, besides the bread, pate. And after the pate, you have like different types of meat, a lot of cilantro, Chris's favorite, omelette. Oh, this is a delight. And then the bread is toasted, so it's just the right amount of crunch. Uh, let's see if if I'm right. Some mix of flavors. Mm. Incredible. The sweet, the sour, the savory. Mm. It's amazing. I'm gonna get so fat. Okay, le let me check the banh mi. You said it's famous. Hmm. Okay, this is a good sandwich. I like that the, it's crispy. So the bread, I don't know if you can hear it. It's actually very crispy. And inside all the flavors mix well. I like the, um, the omelette and also I can feel the pate. It's good, I like it. So now for the bonus section. This is something that we found today on the street. It's crazy. It's the most extreme food here in Vietnam. Well, for us at least, this is a sandworm pancake. Okay, they're moving. They're still moving right there. And now we're gonna try them. I'm so scared. I'm doing this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oily, spicy. This is very good. I like it. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have so many legs in my mouth. It's my turn to try the sandworm. I'm gonna check that they're not moving anymore. Okay. Are you sure this is good? Well, you tell me. <laughs> wow. 
Very good. So a little bit crunchy because it's like a meat ball. And it has uh, some greens inside. The texture is I think it resembles a little bit like them with mixed minced meat. So the flavor is, is good, right? I didn't expect that much. Thanks for joining us in this delicious journey. Stay tuned for our next video and happy exploring! Yay!